Uh, Karan, what can you tell us about uh, the financial, some numbers if you can give us uh, just to get a sense of the scale of the business at this point in time. Also, you mentioned that you're not looking at any external funding right now. Uh, is that a possibility going ahead? Right. So today uh, uh, at a group level, we do on the retail loan side, we do about uh, 40 to 50 crores a month. And uh, this is Pan India across products, uh, product classes on the retail side. A lot of these customers, we are now kind of onboarding for Indie Book as well, because our distribution uh, largely right now happens through our NBFC partners who do MSME lending. So those two products are now already running at a fairly decent scale and we are doing very decent numbers with them. Uh, the wholesale business also, wholesale business is like a, um, I would say cyclical business, but it's a lumpy business. You might have quiet months and then suddenly you have a month where you close two, three deals together. So that is a business which is a very personalized business and it doesn't scale organically like your retail fintech stacks do. So on the fintech platforms, our objective is to get to a consistent run rate of uh, 100 crores by the end of the coming financial year, which will be FY24-25. And uh, on the investment side, our idea now very uh, simply is that, you know, we want to get our products to a sustainable scale first, where they become organically profitable. And at that stage also, we will raise money to do something bigger to grow our business as opposed to going B2C. So, you know, the reason, uh, even though we've had offers for investment, we've not taken any up right now is nothing teaches you more discipline than putting your own capital to work because then you know exactly kitna bana, kitna gaya. Yes. So when easy money is available, sometimes the discipline gets a little compromised, especially at the stage where you're trying a lot of things because... See, uh, everyone starts a startup with an idea, with a dream. Hopefully in the next three to four years, we will at least take our company on the SME board to begin with. Once we kind of hit those minimum numbers, uh, take the company public by then we'll have an ESOP program for our uh, team members. So they will be able to see liquidity and value creation for them as well.